did you select me as your last partner? Yeah, this one is really, see, honestly, forging background, you know, you don't have much choice. <laughs> so, whoever comes along and whoever's willing, you just latch on, man. She's God's gift, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you can't even see this for much. Hi guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. And on popular demand, I have my fiance Amod here with me. Hello everyone and congrats to Swati on 20,000 subscribers. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, the other day I had a post on my Instagram and on YouTube asking uh, you guys to ask me questions regarding the wedding. And I promised that I will make a QA and a video. So here's the QA and a video. I received a few questions. And yeah, I think we'll start with the video. Okay, so the first question is, where did we meet? Uh, so that's pretty straightforward. We met in a quaint town in Kashmir called Udhampur. I was on my way, fresh off the blocks, young lieutenant, uh, on my way to my unit. And Swati was there with some of her friends and we met and we hung out. And the sparks flew a lot later. <laughs> yeah, so the next question flows from this. And that is your version of our love story. My version? There is only one version. The, the version is that we met. One version of truth. <laughs> yeah, we met and uh, we we didn't, uh, we didn't uh, get together from the start. And uh, we kind of started with some long distance texting and messaging later on. And then we realized that... Uh, you know, we had a lot more in common than we thought and uh, we could really use each other's company. So yeah, that's the shorthand version. And then we, then, then she moved all over the country and I moved all over the country and we kept meeting and and now we find ourselves here 10 days away from the big day. <laughs> so yeah, so the next question is also something related, how we handle the long distance. So for those who don't know now, we've been in a long distance, from the beginning we've been in a long distance and uh, but till now it's been now like 4 years that uh, we've been uh, dating. So yeah, how do you think we handle the long distance? You are getting mad so we handle it quite well. <laughs> <laughs> long distance is not everybody's cup of tea. Some people outright deny that it shouldn't be done. But uh, I, or rather we have had not much choice. She's been studying and working in different parts of the country. And so have I. I've been working all over the place. And uh, so long distance was the only way that we could make things work. So I'd say that long distance requires a lot of effort, a lot of commitment. But if you know that the other person is the one for you, then you'll definitely go ahead and... Aww. Make it work as best as you can, and if it doesn't work out, then no regrets. But in my case, it did, so still no regrets. But yeah. the regrets will come later, never know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so from uh, like what I would say is that definitely, like Amoth mentioned, working out a long distance is pretty difficult, and there will be like you know situations where obviously you would want to talk to the other person. Sometimes you just feel like. <clears throat> No, that's that that's not happening. That's your you feeling. Just, you just feel like shouting. <laughs> so yeah, there are there will be times which are very difficult as compared to a regular uh, relationship. But what really makes the difference is that in a long distance, there's so much to show that you care about the person. There's so many ways to show, and yeah, if you make the person feel that that person is important to you. And I think that really works. So you really have to do that work of constantly meeting, of constantly keeping in touch, of being faithful. So I guess that's all that really counts in a long distance. Makes sense. <laughs> oh, that was pretty intense. <laughs> uh, so the next th question is, how did we handle the first fight? Honestly, I don't remember about our first fight at all. I don't remember the last fight, man. It happens and then it just gets forgotten. But yeah, the thing to remember for all fights is that I'm very sober guy and I start off calmly. And she, <laughs> yeah, sober and, guy and and sober she on the other hand, you know, she just <gasps> boom. And then she's like steep drop. For me, it's like gradual up and gradual down. Yeah, so yeah, so fights when it happens, you know, 
talk about it, get over it, <laughs> and move on. Yeah, I think by now we just uh, we found a way to handle our fights, and it's it's definitely not perfect all the time. But uh, like Amod mentioned, he's the calm one, and I like all over the place whenever I'm bad. <laughs> so the next question is, uh, what was the first gift that you gave me? I don't remember the first gift. What was the first gift? Like gift, gift. Uh, I don't know. I don't remember. You just talk later. I think it was a. I think it was no, no, no. One second. I think it was a. It was one of the wind chimes. Yeah, 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 yeah. it was. It was a wind chime that yeah. uh, you had. She was studying in uh, Mali at the time, Chandigarh, and uh, I think it was for a birthday. Uh, not but it was a random, just a random. Yeah, it was just gift. a random like, oh, this is new kind of. No, it was more like I get, I have this weird habit of getting obsessed with things, and like that phase of my life, I was obsessed <laughs> with chimes. Yeah, so just it's, kind of it's like I love wind chimes, <laughs> so I'm like, okay, I love wind chimes too. Huh. Let me send you one. So that was probably the first gift. Actually, at that time we were not even dating. You know. Okay, let's for the sake of YouTube. We'll he was he was hitting on me, yeah. For the sake of YouTube, oh, yeah, that story. Let that story come out. Ask that question. <laughs> okay, so the next question is, why did you select me as your life partner? Uh, well, why did I select you as my life partner? Is because I think it's gradually like we've been now dating, like I mentioned, for four years. So. Yeah, I mean, you you get to know someone okay. in four years. You understand what they like, what they dislike, how they react how things work and you know you know you you understand how things will work out in the future and you, you just feel it inside you think you know <laughs> you think you know you think you know you can't know for sure but you think you know you know if you feel it in here and in here and you you say let's let's do this man let's do this together so yeah yeah so the next question is for me why did you select a more the life partner perfect choice. it's it's <laughs> <laughs> She's grown up in the army background. She knows how things work, and no, that's definitely. I don't think that's like you know my perspective on this. It's just no, that's part of my answer. That's but he just wants that to be one of the reasons. Yeah, that's not. Because it's, I mean, you like going to places, and you like yeah, I like going I like going to places, but that's definitely not the reason why I chose no, you. I mean, fine, you, but you don't mind going to different places. Some for a lot of people, I'm sure that would be like a major, major. Question mark, you know, I have to move around every two years, every three years. Yeah, but for that, like, I could have, like, gone for any other guy, right? But that's, that's definitely not the thing. It was more from a personal angle that I like this personality, like, the way we get along and, yeah, how he is. So, I think that's, that's the reason why this is a very awkward question. And none of the other, you know, none of the demerits really bothered her too much. So, she's uh -huh. like, okay, let's, let's give it a shot. So yeah, that's about it. These are all the questions and I hope your question has been answered and if not, then please uh, leave it in the comment section below and we would try and answer it as soon as possible. So and that's... Thank you for all your wishes. means a lot. Uh, love you guys. So thank you so much guys and you know the drill. If you like this video, then don't give this video a thumbs up and also consider subscribing if you're new to my channel and I'll well. see yeah, click the bell button. That's very, very important. And I will see you soon with another video. Till then, bye.